Getting Grace is an independent feature film with some Tampa roots. It's the story of a 16 year old girl who is terminally ill and decides to visit a funeral home to learn about death. Well, the film is getting a lot of praise and is being played nationwide. Take a look at a clip from the movie. She's dealing with this better than most people at her advanced stage. Fascinating occupation. This is my business. I don't have time for your pranks. Yeah, I'd be more than happy to call the police. Hello, police. I'm being held hostage in my beautiful funeral home by a bald, sickly looking teenage girl. Can I ride in the hearse? Oh, and here to tell us more about this film and its local connection, uh, connection is producer Tammy Roa. Good morning, Tammy. Good morning. Glad to have you here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Congratulations on this film first because it is getting a lot of buzz. People are absolutely falling in love with her, Grace. Yes. Uh, and this movie. So tell us a little bit. Take us kind of rewind a little bit and uh, tell us a little bit about how this came to be. Sure. Um, well, my husband, uh, Daniel, who co-wrote mm -hmm. it and directed it and stars in it. Yeah. He um, got this script about nine, this is a nine year process. Um, he got it uh, nine years ago. Uh, it was a script from Jeff Lewis called Bending Spoons. And uh, he ended up collaborating with Jeff and, and did rewrites mm -hmm. back and forth. And then about three years ago, uh, you know, we said, let's, you know, let's just do this. Let's get it done. And so we filmed it. Um, in 2016, mm -hmm. and we're finally here where it's in theaters. And we're saying there's a local uh, connection because it's your production company yes. that's here in Tampa. It wasn't shot here uh, necessarily, but we'll right. we'll take what we can get. <laughs> exactly. Um, but what I love the message about this, talk about this, because it really looks at death through a teenager's perspective. But yet we're all dying, right? We're all going to die one day. I think there's so much heart and kind of so much that we can take away from this film. We have just um, gotten so so much great response from people from all faiths, mm -hmm. really um, from Mormons to Catholics to Muslims. Yeah. Every, everyone universally is just embracing this film because it really just talks about faith in a way where it's just, it's available to you and you just have to, you know, look for it. And, and Grace, her character is really uh, an allegory to God's grace mm -hmm. and that it's, it's here for you. And just to uh, embrace life and live it to the fullest and kind of wake up. My husband says, let's wake up yeah. every day like it's your first, not really yeah. wake up every day like it's your last day, but like it's your first day. You know what I love about this film too is there's a lot of humor in it as well, which is kind of helpful when you are dealing with such a serious subject matter as death, right? It is, I, I, you know, the film critics have, have talked about how it was just, it's been a unique way to talk about funeral homes yeah, and yeah, yes. you know kids with cancer and and people are saying I've never laughed <laughs> so hard and cried so much in one movie and and they they're like I don't know if this is the funniest yeah. sad movie I've ever seen or the saddest funny movie yeah. I've ever seen and those are the best movies that kind of take you yeah. on that roller coaster the actress by the way that pleads the lead role is phenomenal even shaved her head uh, for this role as well yeah. but I want to talk about your husband as well sure. because I don't think he gets as much credit as maybe he <laughs> deserves you look at his IMD pay I mean it, it's it's probably one of the longest uh, profiles that I've seen, he's done amazing things. As a as a character actor for 35 yeah. years, his resume is uh, extremely long, and and he's just so versatile that mm -hmm. you know people they'll see him and they'll recognize him and say, "Where have I seen you?" Well, he's in? been and, in The and Fugitive. I mean, talk about some of the Matt big roles. Matt yeah. Locke, um, Lost. He was the Doctor yeah. Arse that exploded mm -hmm. at the end of season one. Um, and now he's uh, he's uh, man in the high castle yeah. on Amazon. So and yeah, his resume. How is, is it working with him? Because uh, obviously you guys are working together a lot. So it, it it is amazing. It's it's really such a gift to be able to collaborate together. And you know he he always says you know I'm the thinker up to, up or you know Tammy you're the writer downer. So uh, you know he'll come up with ideas and then I just help him you know bring it to fruition and. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, you know, we gel so well and, and just to be able to do this well, with him. And you him. can tell, look at this uh, film right here, which by yeah. the way, can we still see it? Where you can. We? can. It is um, at Regal okay. Citrus Park and Regal Pinellas Park. Um, uh, Pinellas Park, I know it's definitely running uh, through Thursday. Hopefully, uh, Tampa will be running through April 5th. 
Uh, so I would say um, if okay. you have Good Friday and have a have yeah. uh, have the holiday, you know, it, it's a great film. It is a good Easter, I think, it, uh, it, film to go see. It is. Uh, what's next for you? I want to make sure and get that in because I know you're busy. You. Yeah, we're, you know, I have my local production company here, mm -hmm. so I'm always busy doing work here, but we are planning our next feature film called The Hail Mary and uh, which is a comedy and uh, it's um, ba about a irascible nun who goes in <laughs> she has a all-boy catholic school and she cons uh, a, a, the maintenance worker who's kind of looking for that redemption that second chance uh, and and makes him become the football coach. Okay. Uh, um, so uh, it's going to be a really fun movie to produce. Somewhat faith-based though too. I mean, you know, I mean, if you if it's can. based in a in a in a, <laughs> you know, Catholic boy school a little bit. <laughs> well, thank you so much for thank coming you. in today. Congratulations thank again you. on all the success. Please keep us posted. I will. Have your husband come back in studio I next will. time he's in town, Absolutely. okay? We'll make and it he's happen. working on what next can we say? He he is going to be in Rob Zombie's uh Devil's Rejects sequel. All uh, right. So, yeah. so stay tuned for that as well. Again, so nice <laughs> to meet you. you. Keep us posted. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Make it. sure you check out the movie Thank you. Getting Grace.